what's up, fuckers? So let's talk about Shin on the ATF. So the ATF decided to do an interview with a reporter uh, to look at some scary guns. And we're just going to rip into all the fallacies that they had because they're fucking dumb. This looks like a big variety of items here. What, what am I looking at? What? I can't tell if you're dumb or if you're putting on an act. But uh, I think the word that people would use would be special. Uh, uh, it's one of, uh, it, it's a table that we tried to lay out certain kinds of things that might be of interest uh, based upon some of the questions that you were asking, mm -hmm. right? And so it's, and, and the sort of, one of the things we did at this table, there's so many more firearms we could talk about, is we tried to put things in pairs. So if you look at them together, and one of them is sort of the more conventional uh, uh, firearm, which mm -hmm. is uh, sometimes they're, they're under the National Firearms Act, right? And the other one is sort of what I would call the attempt to get around it. Mm. I think there's a misconception here, like heavily, you know, these um, devices or these ad, uh, attachments you can add to guns that might make them function similarly to a uh, different type of firearm usually still follow the guidelines of the actual textbook law, uh, legal definition. Um, so it isn't a workaround. So Chris, I don't know if you want to walk us through. Correct. So as the director explained, we have uh, at the top here, we have an AK variant. Uh, this is a full auto uh, assault weapon. It's a machine gun. <laughs> machine okay. gun. Uh, shoulder fired uh, that is uh, covered under the purviews of the National Firearms Act. Uh, How many rounds does it fire? Well, this has a 30 round magazine with it. This is a 75 round drum magazine. Wow. So it's, it's magazine fed, but you can acquire drum magazines as well. Mm -hmm. So this one, everybody would agree, right? Uh, covered under the National Firearms Act. Fully automatic weapon. Mm -hmm. Government can have it. Military can have it. It's an antique. Some people, if they had it before, depending on 1986, they can have it. But otherwise, no. This one, which looks and operates just like it, yeah. this is a bump stock attached. Uh, no, it doesn't operate exactly like it. A automatic weapon with one trigger pull fires multiple rounds. There's still multiple trigger pulls being used with a bump stock. It is not the same thing. That is why we have laws. They're black and white. And then states get the kind of fill in that, that gray area gap, but the federal laws are like black and white. A automatic weapon is something that fires multiple rounds with one trigger pull. And that's, you're seeing this on the rise with what, gangs, cartels? That's Who? correct. Uh, so this is a 3D printed item. So these items, some of these, some of these items that we're looking at here today, these are printed with a 3D printer, $200 3D printer. Some of these can be printed out in as little as 20 minutes. This looks like it's a piece of a toy. It does. Like it, toy. And again, it, it, it's incumbent upon ATF to, to teach and, and work with our law enforcement, other agencies, and, and, and teach them how to look and find these items. This item that the director is showing you here, this, so this is a privately made firearm has no serial numbers no information on it oh. so that's what i didn't even know that's also a ghost gun serial numbers on guns are only meant to trace it back to its original point of sale but if you privately sell a firearm to another person there is no trace to that another person that and it is completely legal and except for like i think it's like five states to make your own firearms and use them you cannot just you can't sell them or give them to anybody else but you can make a firearm for your own use it is completely legal to do that so that's the frame He's going to make it. 
Uh, imagine being the expert and you look like a fucking clown. Dude, you could barely disassemble the first, or you couldn't disassemble the first one. The second one, you somehow managed to get off. But then when you try to reassemble a new gun, you fucking, you completely failed at that. And you put it down while she wasn't paying attention because you knew it looked like a fucking joke. Here, let me help you out. Regulated under the law, we, we're not allowed to do that. You right? would like to do that? That's up to Congress to determine. But I mean, what we did is we tried to work with with the law that Congress gave us, and take the receiver. Oh, brother! This guy stinks, bro. <laughs> how? How? Okay, I was I was excited that you got the second one off relatively easy without question but then you went back at it because i imagine your manhood was hurt and you proceed to make yourself look like even more of a clown so much so that you had to hand it over to somebody else who probably knew more about guns than you you fucking clown all this is is, is biden's losing his uh his votes and stuff like that so he has the atf put out some scare tactics bullshit with a bunch of shit that they claim are pro nuisances and problems but they're really not and he's just a joke they're a joke and this whole video is a joke but yeah you guys have a good one and uh deuces